We've got something mind-blowing for you today. Face Fusion, the face swapping tool that's turning heads. Imagine this, deep faking with just one image, and the quality is so incredibly good it'll make your jaw drop. Now before we can begin to create these amazing deep fakes, we need to set up our platform. I will guide you step by step on how to do this by simply following the documentation from Face Fusion. I will leave a link in the description so you can follow along. To begin, select your platform. I will select Windows. Let's begin the process by installing Python on your device. Copy the first line and access your command prompt by typing CMD into the search tool. Next, paste the copied line into the command prompt and hit enter. Repeat this procedure for each line provided on the documentation page. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes to complete, and keep in mind that this setup only needs to be done once. It's crucial to note that for the final step, when selecting the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 build tools, opt for the first choice, the desktop development with C++ package. Let's clone the repository by copying and pasting the provided line into the command prompt. Opening the command prompt is a bit different this time. Create an empty folder on your PC, open it, and then type CMD in the file explorer address bar at the top. Paste the line we copied earlier and hit enter to copy all the files into this folder. Let's get our environment set up. We're almost at the finish line. Select your platform and copy the first line. Now open the command prompt just as we did previously, but this time within your Face Fusion folder. Paste the line, press enter, and repeat the process for the next line. Let's proceed with installing the dependencies. Follow the familiar steps. Open the command prompt via the Face Fusion folder and copy paste the following line. Additionally, I suggest including this line if you have an NVIDIA GPU. It'll be in the description for your convenience. Once it's done, you will see it's successfully installed. Now the next step is important. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, downloading the CUDA Toolkit and NVIDIA CU DNN. This is a GPU accelerated library of primitives for deep neural networks. This will make Face Fusion run way faster. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, I highly recommend downloading these. You might need to create an account on the NVIDIA website. After completing all those steps, it's finally time to run Face Fusion. Access the Face Fusion folder, open your command prompt, and simply type Python run.py. Hit enter. Now copy this link and paste it in your browser. And there you have it. Welcome to the Face Fusion interface. Now, if for some reason you get an error like no module found, you might need to install the requirements. Simply type pip install our requirements.txt in the command prompt in the Face Fusion folder and press enter. This will make sure you have all the requirements installed to run Face Fusion. I recommend going to the troubleshooting page on the Face Fusion GitHub page if you get any other errors. Let's recreate the example I demonstrated earlier. Begin by activating CUDA for faster processing. Next, upload your video into the target section of Face Fusion and position an image of a face in the source section and observe the enchanting face swap in the preview frame. Next, let's activate the face enhancer. I suggest experimenting with various models to find the one that suits your video best. Although Codeformer consistently delivers excellent results. It might take a bit of time the first time selecting the face enhancer. This is because it needs to install the model first. You can play around with the Face Enhancer Blend slider to get the best result. Next, set your temp format to PNG for better quality, and set the quality to 100. I also suggest setting the output video encoder to H.264. This format is supported on most devices. Now the last step before we can start the face swapping process is selecting the Keep FPS option, this ensures that the output video has the same frame rate as the original video. Now it's time to hit the big red start button and let the magic unfold. If you open the command prompt, you can track the progress of your face swap video. As you can see, it's going pretty fast. It begins by extracting every frame from the video, followed by applying the face swap and enhancement to each image. Once that process wraps up, Face Fusion stitches the images back together into a video. Importantly, 
Face Fusion works without adding any noise to the video, ensuring a clean result, while also preserving the original audio intact. Now let's watch the video we just created. To download the video, press the download button in the top corner. It's crucial to resist the urge to hit the big start button again, as doing so will result in the loss of your video, prompting Face Fusion to restart. I've fallen into this trap a few times myself. There's just something about that button that makes it so tempting to press. Now that's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more AI videos like this, then make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.